The terrorist group ISIL continues to retaliate for military airstrikes in Syria and Iraq. And tonight, the White House confirms ISIL killed an American hostage, Peter Kasich. ABC 7's Jay Korf is in the newsroom with reaction. Jay, what are we hearing? Kenneth, tonight the president condemned the barbaric murder of an American aid worker by Islamic State radicals. And tonight, the victim's parents are speaking out as well. One of Peter Kasich's former professors said that he had so much empathy that he wanted to heal the brokenness of the world. Before his death at the hands of Islamic State radicals, Kasich did just that. He served in Iraq, left the army, then returned to the region as a humanitarian. He started a relief organization delivering needed supplies to Syrian war victims. In this undated audio recording, Kasich talks about helping out in a hospital. They were able to teach me something about themselves that I wouldn't have known otherwise. And we each were given an opportunity to look at the conflict in a different way. Kasig was kidnapped by ISIL last October and threatened with death because he fought against Muslims. Despite converting to Islam while in captivity and taking on the first name, Abdul Rahman, his captors followed through, beheading Kasig. The White House confirmed his death after viewing a video purportedly produced by ISIL. The president condemned the killing, saying, while ISIL revels in the slaughter of innocents, including Muslims, and is bent only on sowing death and destruction, Abdul Rahman was a humanitarian who worked to save the lives of Syrians. Kasig's parents also released a statement saying, we are heartbroken to learn that our son has lost his life as a result of his love for the Syrian people and his desire to ease their suffering. Kasig's former professor says she knows that he would want others to continue his work. I do know that the message that Peter Abdul Rahman sent for us was one of hope and inspiration and love. And that's the one that I want to think about today. ISIL has now killed five Westerners. We know ISIL is also holding other hostages, including an American female aid worker. Her name has not been released. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News.